Yes, I know, I know, I know you're a dinosaur, but still, Alberta law says you have to wear a mask. So, seriously, you have to wear this. Good morning, and welcome to another episode of This Is How I See It. Now, a little update if you've been following this Canadian road trip. Um, I was in Calgary for about two weeks, and I just left this morning. However, the plan was to go west, to Banff and Jasper, into BC, that type of thing. Um, but when I was in Red Deer a few weeks ago, I met this lovely couple who told me about a town called Drumheller. And they explained briefly what was there. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe. And then my time in Calgary, I met two or three other or even more people that were telling me you got to go to Drumheller. So uh, just a brief breakdown of what this town of Drumheller is. Um, some people say it's kind of like the Arizona desert in the middle of Alberta. So there's like sand dunes and canyon and, and, and rock formations and all this stuff. Uh, there's also a tiny little museum with a massive, massive, I guess, dinosaur fossils or one of the largest T-Rex bones in the world or this type of thing. So I'm heading there now. Um, it's about an hour and a half east of uh, Calgary, but I pulled over on the side of the highway because I wanted to show you this. So as you can see here, there's a little sign. There it is, right? Well, let me zoom in. There we go. There we go. Bicycler. Bicycle Airport. Now, this is the tiniest little airport you're ever going to see. But what I find funny is they have skydiving, and I love their website, Sex Me. <laughs> I know of another website called Sex Me, uh, but it's you know definitely not skydiving. And then there's this little sign too, which is funny. Road may be impassable. <laughs> uh, impassable. So. Yeah, I guess if you're an idiot like me, you find these signs funny, so... I wasn't expecting this in Alberta. Welcome to Drumheller. Heading into the downtown area. Dinosaurs everywhere. I will explore the old downtown a little bit later, which is right down here. Another dinosaur. Oh, and a big dinosaur. Ooh, I'll have to go see that later. Well, like I said earlier, there's uh, dinosaurs all over this town. Dinosaur RV park. Yes, it definitely looks like a desert. More dinosaurs. Welcome to the Royal Tyrell Museum.
had swamped them into deep, stagnant waters where they were quickly buried, resurfacing 500 million years later as the fossils of the Burgess Shale. Well, that was a pretty cool museum. Very informative. If you like dinosaurs, this is the place. The Terrell Museum to check out. Now I'm going out to look at some of the lookout views of the Badlands. A desert in the middle of nowhere. Well, I guess deserts are in the middle of nowhere, but <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Very cool. So if you're interested in coming here to the Badlands, it's about an hour and a half from Calgary and about two hours from Red Deer. Get your butt to the Badlands! In Canada, eh? <laughs> So there was the uh, information board at the museum that said, go see the little church. So, there is the little church. And that is one tiny little church. So this will show you the actual size of this church. Little church. Let's take a look inside. Little church. Oh wow. <laughs> it even has very little benches. Peace to all who enter. It's such a tiny church. I'm now on my way to see the canyon and then I will uh, head into the downtown. Now America might have the Grand Canyon, but we've got Horse Thief Canyon. Our smaller version of it. But this is pretty darn nice. This is most definitely a very beautiful canyon. I've seen, uh, I guess, uh, two or three with my journey across Canada, but this one's pretty damn nice.
the Long Branch Saloon. So Drumheller has the tallest dinosaur in the world. Ready? And boom! There he is. That gives you an idea how big it is. These kids are just on his toes. That's a big ass dinosaur. It sure makes the RV below nice and tiny. All right, I'd like to give a piece of advice from a big time world explorer, that's myself, to people debating if they should go to small towns to see certain things. Now, the people that told me to come to this town some people said, oh, you can do it in an hour. A couple people said, oh, you need like at least half a day. I've been here half a day and I've done a quarter of the stuff that's here. Um, there's an aqua park, there's an antique museum, there's giant dinosaur, there's Badlands, there's other museums. I'm going out to the Hoodoo's rock formation. I'm sorry, you can't do this in an hour. So if locals give you advice saying you must see something, go see it. It's probably a big thing, it's a big deal. But if they say you can do it in an hour, plan two days unless you're a boring explorer but I like to see everything so let's check out some dinosaurs now apparently the world's tinus, uh, tallest dinosaur in the back there apparently you can go up him as you can see up into his mouth for a viewpoint but I don't think you see any people up there so maybe COVID maybe we can but I'm gonna go check it out and see if I can hang out in the mouth of a dinosaur. Woohoo! Damn it. 530, 530, 530, 530, 530, 530, 530. It's 540. Alright, so I got from in I've got some information for you. I'm gonna read about this guy, the biggest dinosaur in the world. The model Tyrannosaurus was constructed of fiberglass and steel uh, with a height of 26.3 meters, that's 86 feet, and a length of 46 meters, 151 feet. Considerably larger than the largest known specimens of the actual dinosaur, known as Sue, which reached up to blah 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 blah. So basically what this is, is this one big ass dinosaur. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, one hour, yeah, take a look. Badlands, we've got, uh, got a bridge, you know, we got a, a, an old school museum, got a homestead museum, got a suspension bridge, got some hoodoos, got an atlas mine, uh, the museum I went to earlier, yeah, no way. One hour, <laughs> ah! So I'm now heading to that right there. It's called Atlas Coal Mine National Historic Site. But before we see it, I have to wait 25 seconds to cross the bridge. Atlas number no. three coal mine, 1936-1956, played a central role in the coal industry of the Drumheller Valley, a leading area in the production of Canadian coal. So it's 6 p.m. now, and this closed at 5, so obviously there's no people. No tourists, no locals. I'm just giving you a little panoramic here because what's beautiful about this is how old everything is and at the same time, how quiet it is.
So there you have it, a beautiful historic site. Let's go see the hoodoos. The Drumheller hoodoos are geographical wonders that have stood watch at the mouth of Willow Creek for thousands of years, bearing witness to the people and events that shaped the Red Deer Valley and Alberta. And they're still there. The hoodoos have been subjected to erosion and wind and rain for thousands of years. Compared to the photograph in the 1900s, they're much skinnier than they used to be. Well, I'm going to say this to you. If you're planning on coming to Alberta, a must-see is the town of Drumheller and the Badlands and this place, the Hoodoos. Somebody's crossing the street and they're not at the crosswalk. You okay, sir? That looks uh, a little steep to go up. Oh, you've done that before, huh? All right, have a nice night. And here comes the uh, friend in the mirror. I think that's the baby. Have a nice night, guys. Well, it's now nighttime and I decided to do one more stop in the town. Um, but it's actually in a different town called Wilson, I believe it's called. And I wanted to come see the old Rose Deer Hotel. As well as the Last Chance Saloon. So there's something I find very interesting here. They're normally open at this time, but look at this. Apology. On behalf of the Last Chance Saloon, we would like to apologize to our customers for being requested to invade their rights to their medical privacy by providing proof of vaccination. We are a simple business that enjoys hosting guests by providing food and beverages. However, we are now forced by our government into this uncomfortable position. We either close our doors and lose money, or we follow these draconian measures. <laughs> they chose to close and invade people's privacies. Well, good morning, day number two. I decided to stay. Uh, there's too much to see here in one day. I um, mean, it's really windy today, and it was freezing last night because of the wind. I had all my blankets on, so uh, the winter's on its way. So I'm going to see an amphitheater that's built into the Badlands called, uh, I guess, the Passion Play, so uh, Jesus Play. So the guy I was just walking in here with uh, is actually the owner. He was telling me this was built in 1994, and he was giving me some information saying that uh, once a year they did a passion play uh, based on the, the life and uh, the story of Jesus. Um, so I'm gonna walk around, take a couple uh, pictures and videos, and, and show you this place. It looks pretty cool.
So they definitely have a lot of seating. They can have huge events here. He was telling me that they had an outdoor orchestra of about a 15, 20 piece uh, orchestra set up down below. And when they do the passion play, um, apparently it's a full house. And this is the walk of Jesus here all along. And then up the stairs, as you can see, boom. So I just had a chat with Vance, uh, the big boss here who runs the show. He's the guy who runs all the entertainment and, and keeps things in check. Uh, he said that this area I'm heading to right now is actually not open to the public. Um, I told him about my channel and he was quite interested and he said, hey, let me, let, me, let me show you something that's not open to the public yet. Now this is part of their property, but he wanted, uh, he wanted me to see it. Uh, where all the valleys come together, I guess it's quite stunning. As you can see by my foot, he's not very big, but he's trying to get me. <laughs> Welcome to downtown Drumheller. I think what I love most about this downtown is the fact that there are dinosaurs everywhere. <laughs> so this intersection is fun. We have dinosaur number one. Dinosaur number two. Dinosaur number three. And one of the tourist hotspots is dinosaur number four. Yes, I know, I know, I know you're a dinosaur, but still, Alberta law says you have to wear a mask. So, seriously. So that was Drumheller, I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, and to end the video I'm actually uh, speaking in the van because where I am right now is super windy. Uh, the trees in front of me are just going absolutely crazy so if I speak outside the van you're not going to hear me. So to end this video, uh, Horseshoe Canyon is where I am. It's about 18 kilometers out of Drumheller on the way back to Calgary actually, about uh, 20 minutes. Um, and I will head back through Calgary and then hit Banff up into Jasper, all through the mountains into the province of BC, so that's what's next. So to end this video, this is Horseshoe Canyon.